back. I am Mr. JDM and today we get back working on the 88 Civic Wagon. I've been kind of busy the past couple days. I've been doing some pressure washing, um, you know, some general maintenance around the house. It's uh, It's been about a week since I posted a video, but I figured it's about time to get back to the wagon. So uh, let's get into this video. So I wasn't real happy with um, some of the spots. It was like real rough feeling. So. I sanded it down a little bit better this side as well and I re-sanded that to make it a little bit smoother I bought this thing it it works pretty good I'm really happy with it um, Harbor Freight it gets in all the little small spaces it was like 27 bucks like 27.99 whatever uh, the only problem is you can't find the pads and that sucks so I've been using these I'll cut them down into a small circle and use that because it's Velcro. And then I went back over the entire engine bay with a 800. And now what I need to do, really before I start painting, I gotta do some more welding. Because as you can see, the radiator does not mount. And this used to have a half radiator. So we're going to put a full radiator in it. And I need to figure out where the mounts go one's there and then one's over here obviously but so i need to cut the mounts off and then re-weld them all right we got both the brackets cut off and re-welded my welds are really ugly and for whatever reason i have two of the left side brackets but i cannot find the right side bracket there are my ugly glass welds it ain't pretty, but you know, it works and it's, it ain't coming off. So I need to paint those so it doesn't rust and we can continue on with the rest of the engine bay, painting the engine bay. So I decided to paint the, uh, the headlight brackets. I could not get the headlights off because it's all held on with Phillips head screws and every single one of them is stripped. Actually, I got one of them out out of all of them. So I just taped everything off and I'm painting everything black. Um, I used a primer and then a black gloss caliber paint. I think they'll turn out pretty good. I need to go back and reprimer all that side and that side. The back of the firewall, that turned out pretty good. I'm really happy with that but when I painted this it just it was real rough feeling and so I sanded it down again and I'm gonna redo it so all the lines are gonna be a black gloss including the um, the brake thing or whatever you call it and I need to get some truck bed liner for over here because I don't have any more. And I think I'm going to do over here and straight across with the truck bed liner. I even thought about doing the bottom of the frame rails with the truck, bread li the truck bed liner. Just like from here down. But I don't know. We will see. All right, so uh, it's the next day. We got the headlights painted and we're going to repaint the booster. I should have taken it out, but I didn't. So um, I've got it all taped off and we're gonna paint it. And I sanded it down with like a 800 grit. All right, we're going to let that dry for a little bit and we'll do another coat. Second coat. I'm going to have trouble getting down into there. All right, I think that's the last coat I'm going to do. I might sand it down with like a 2000 and then clear coat it. I mean, I'm definitely clear coating it, but I might do a 2000 sand before I clear coat. But I think all this turned out really good. There's some areas up here that didn't. So I'm gonna tape this off and then redo this section up here. 
but the paint is coming along i need to get some more uh primer though and i need to do something with this clean it up and maybe paint it i don't know because it's it's nasty looking and we're back it's a uh, a few days later we got a can of truck bed liner and the primer that we needed i had to go ahead and order it off of amazon because i went to four different auto parts stores and lowe's and home depot and i just could not find this primer so we're gonna remove all that and then we're gonna tape off the uh the bottom of the firewall because that's good but the rest of it we need to finish painting but we need to clean it up because it's kind of it's been a few days and it's just it's got stuff on it so we want to clean up the surfaces before we primer so we're going to start by removing all that all right so i need to let it dry i should have done this earlier but i sprayed it down with a degreaser and then sprayed it sprayed it with water to clean it all off but look at that look how good that looks can't wait to get the rest of it done and then spray it with a clear coat All right, so I decided to do it in sections just because it was hard to tape that off. Not get in the corner over here or over here, but it would be easier to tape off that corner, that direction, than it would be, you know, over here. So we're going to primer this, and then we'll spray the uh, silver flake over it. All right, we're going to let that dry and then we'll do the silver flake. All right, now we're just going to spray the flake on there. We're just going to dust it over it. All right, and that is it. Now we let that dry and then we tape off the rest of it. All right, so we're just going to go for it. We got it all taped off. I'm going to paint this side and paint this side. And I've got the T-bar painted already. So let's get to it. All right, we got it all primered. There's some spots that look like they're kind of rough looking right in here. So I'll probably sand that down again. But this side looks pretty good. I'm gonna do a second coat over here and then we'll probably sand on that before I do a second coat. All right, well, we got the whole thing painted now. It just looks kind of weird. It's all the different angles, I guess. Because the, the firewall looks nice, but and it looks good in certain spots. But when you get real close, it just doesn't look that great. I don't know. We'll see. Like right in here. It looks like it's darker, but it's it's got the spray in there. I don't know. It's just weird. I guess it's just the angles. Like over here, this is all like dented up or different. It's wavy. Same thing with over here. I guess that's just, when you look straight at it, it's fine. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like once I clear coat it. All right, so I think I got everything taped off that needs to be taped off. Um... So I think it's time to do a little clear coat. 
the clear coat we're using is this 2k it has this little button that you stick in the bottom here to mix the two uh, let's read the directions and we'll get started all right we got it shook up we got our thing in there we broke the the, the seal or whatever the mix the two items and according to the CDC this is good enough to cover to protect you from the an airborne virus so hopefully it'll be good enough to protect me from the 2k spray All right, so I think it turned out pretty good. I'll probably do a second coat. Um, there's a little orange peel going on, but you know, it's whatever. I think it looks pretty good. And I can feel it all in the hairs of my arms. I should have wore a long sleeve shirt. All right, there's the second coat. I think it looks pretty damn good. All right, well, the engine bay is painted. There are some little details that I need to button up with the paint, but overall, the engine bay is painted, the clear is on. I think it looks pretty damn good, considering this is really the first time I've ever painted an engine bay. So, you know, I, I'm happy. That's done. Now we can get on with finishing this build and getting the engine dropped and getting the engine wiring situated. It's, uh, it's been a long project. I'm ready to get this done because I want to work on my red Civic Wagon. I want to get that back on the road and park the Beagle because I want to do some body work and paint work on the Beagle but there's a lot of other things that need to come first my wife's old crv the blue crv i need to finish getting the motor built and put in for that so um hopefully that's going to be going to my daughter and there's a lot of things that need to be done on that car there's just there's so many projects that needs to be done but after this 88 civic wagon my red wagon is going back up on blocks and I'm going to finish that and get that ready to uh, be on the street and if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button and please subscribe like 95% of my viewers are not subscribers so I'd really appreciate it if you would just go ahead and subscribe because there's tons and tons of more content coming so anyway thanks for hanging out I appreciate it and I'll see you all in the next video